So this week you guys can see the score we got here. Um, you see three legendary items on this run. And if you guys um, are trying to have trouble getting legendary items, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that here too on this video. But you can see the kills we got 257, only downed eight times. Um, this is a really great build again for not going down as well. People say the hunter's pretty squishy, but um, I generally can try to get through getting down um, as few times as possible if I'm playing safe. But what you get with this is, see how I just dropped that smoke? Um, so now I'm just firing off my arrows. And then I'm going to run a critical strike here. Um, and then I'm running this sin of blood technique. But see, I can drop another smoke. This is why I run lucky on uh, all my ghost weapons. Because you get those that two in a row. And that really comes in handy. And that's also part of the reason you can stay alive um, for so long with the hunter. Is because you're running that smoke. And then you can see this build. See, I just basically just took all these people out um, running this build. It's not the most powerful build, but it's it's still a pretty powerful build. And we'll get into it here. We're running explosive arrows. Um, again, uh, it's, I, it's, not, it's just my favorite over the stun arrows. We're doing Sin of Blood. That's how I was able to fire those arrows off so fast in that clip. Um, after you do a critical strike, you don't actually have to assassinate them. You just have to do a critical strike to get that 100% increase. Then we're running damage status effect 25%, which is, um, again, because we're kind of running a fire build with this one, whereas last week we were running the foul arrows with the weaken. And then here we're going body shots with the bow, which helps you really get your resolve up um, because you don't really have to aim and you get so much more resolve from headshots than you do for um, body shots and body damage. So this is a really good mix um, of a powerful build with a resolve game. And um, I think that is, it, you know, it's in the probably top three or four builds you can do for power with the hunter. Um, for the weapons, we're going with the katana, water katana. Water is the best stance if you only have one stance with uh, melee resolve gain and cooldown. Since we're not running cooldown on techniques, you want as much cooldown as you can get. Um, way of the flame, which is huge because there's no way for enemies to block that. So spearmen or shieldmen. And then here with the skipping stone bow, we're going draw speed, headshot damage with shield piercing ammo. Again, shield piercing ammo is my favorite. Um, of all the perks you can get with the bow and arrow um, because the helmet guys aren't that tough. Draw speed, reload speed with shield piercing ammo is probably ideal because you get that, you know, the change in draw speed and reload speed and firing off arrows faster is the best. I'm scared to upgrade this one because I don't want to lose it. So that's what I would run, but it's not at 110. But once I get a 110 bow with that, I'm going to upgrade that one. And I have a video on getting more skipping bows. You want to check that out if you're having trouble getting them. Um, for the Hunter Charm, Fire Master Resolve Gain with Hunter Ability Radius of 90 plus percent is really what you want. Or if you can get it for the Hunter Abilities. And then Sticky Bomb Damage Increase. Status Effect Duration. Again, with Lucky. Um, you know, sometimes you can throw four Sticky Bombs in a row with Lucky, like that. that's why I like Lucky. And you saw in the clip with the smoke, I was also running Lucky. Um, you can get those two smoke bombs in a row. Sometimes you can get and get three or four in a row, um, depending. But um, that's my build. Um, you guys let me know your scores and uh, like and subscribe if you like the, like the content. Um, let me know how many kills you got uh, running this build and um, check out my um, how to get skipping bow video. Um, if you're having trouble getting the skipping bow for the hunter, and you see here, I got these three legendary items. Um, it explains a lot of that too. All right, next time.